Right, folks, I'm going to get straight to the point here. We are over five months into 2023, and Sea of Thieves, it, it ain't looking too good. I'm not going to sit here and preach about how Sea of Thieves is dying, because it's really not. However, I know that a boatload of people are very concerned about the game, and it's obvious that we're in dire need of content at the moment, and the situation is getting pretty desperate. This year has been very dry, Season 9 especially, and there is a fundamental lack of interest with Sea of Thieves at the moment. If you look at Twitch stats, it has never been in a worse position. The game just isn't popular at the moment. And the remaining players the game had after Season 9's honeymoon period have also diminished, as the mystery has not really been great. It's about to conclude, and whilst I'm positive about what the finale is going to be, the whole thing, in my opinion, has been just terrible. I don't normally criticise what Rare do, because I generally support their decisions, but this mystery was not good in any shape or form, in my opinion. I cannot comprehend why there is so much social media involved. If you liked it, great, but for me, covering it has been tedious, and well, look at these polls, looks like you guys agree. The point is, things are extremely lacklustre at the moment, but the Xbox Game Showcase is right around the corner, this Sunday 11th of June 2023, and in my opinion it will be crucial for Sea of Thieves. If Season 10 isn't big, not only does it not bode well for the rest of the year, but it also means that all of the assets that have been taken away from the main game weren't for some big special project. They just had to cut back on them for seemingly no reason. Another point that has recently been brought to my attention is that the current state of the game is in could be to do with the somewhat, I don't want to say meaningless story progression over the last year, but the narrative progression hasn't been great. Look at the adventures, there's a lot of setting up that's been done. Flamehearts Return, The Ancient Warrior's Resurrection, Briggsy's Return, and Reveal of the Ancient Temple have all been significant, but they kind of just happened and haven't been continued. I'll get onto this more in a second. I think the delays could also impact how Sea of Thieves feels right now. If Captaincy last August hadn't been delayed, we would have already had Season 10 and be looking at Season 11 this Sunday. The community was also in shambles the other week, I won't go into it all because I can't, but if you're on Twitter then you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Overall, Sea of Thieves, in my personal opinion, has never been in a worse state, which is frightening to say. However. I really do think that's going to end in six days. I truly believe that at the Xbox Game Showcase, we're going to be getting a Pirate's Life 2. There are those who agree with this and those who don't, but I've seen all of the evidence for both sides and as a content creator who's been around Sea of Thieves since launch and knows how Rare operate, seen every update, it is my personal opinion that we'll be getting new Tall Tales this Sunday in a new cinematic trailer from real time. I honestly think it's what Sea of Thieves needs right now too, an injection of new life into the game, more players, a reinvigoration of the story. Not a repeat of a Pirate's Life because whilst it was one of the two best updates ever to Sea of Thieves, there was a very large gap between seasons 3 and 4, and a lot of people left after they'd played the Disney content. But an update that carries and progresses the main storyline, leading people to continue to play our piratical fantasy and have an interest in where the story continues. I think that we don't even need a Pirate's Life 3 either. If Rare wrap up what they've started, wrap up the Disney stuff and blend every tangent of the story into one, there won't be a need for more Pirates of the Caribbean or potentially Captain Hook content. Think about the amount of tangents that we need wrapping up. Jack's return and the investigation of the greatest pirate treasure of all. The Ancient Warrior's resurrection, a huge event that we never found out what happened after with. The Return of the Damned consequences, potentially worldwide evolution, and finding a cure for the skeleton curse in the Ancient's Temple, which was a big location in the heart of Fire Novel. Speaking of, I stand by my view that we will visit the locations in that novel. Athena's Fortune set up the shores of Gold Tales, I believe Heart of Fire is setting up a pirate's life too. Imagine a set of tall tales that truly blends the universe of Pirates of the Caribbean with Sea of Thieves. I think the developers learned from a Pirate's Life 1, seeing what worked and what didn't, and I have confidence in Rare, one last chance for them to skyrocket Sea of Thieves. So, here is my prediction, what I personally think is going to happen. We will get a set of tall tales taking us across Pirates of the Caribbean locations and meeting characters, but instead of primarily having a non-Sea of Thieves villain like Davy Jones, I think Flameheart will be heavily involved. 
We could perhaps somehow see a reincarnation of, I don't know, Salazar or Blackbeard. Perhaps even Barbosa to cater to those people who are only bothered about Pirates of the Caribbean stories. But I think Flameheart will be part of the arc nonetheless. I think we'll see the return of the Damned Consequences, which will be the catalyst for the new story. Visit the ancient temple and find a cure for the skeleton curse, locate the ancient's capital city like an art of fire, and fight alongside the ancient warrior in a huge battle for the Sea of Thieves, all while visiting locations and encountering characters from the hit Disney films and rides. And if you don't agree with me, fine. But let me present you with the evidence one final time. I won't go over the in-law stuff like the evidence to suggest Captain Hook will be coming as that isn't a thousand percent concrete, just similarities between their universe and ours. So. I've already mentioned about the amount of setting up that Sea of Thieves has done. So apart from that, Sea of Thieves stopped adventures earlier in the year, alongside cinematic trailers. I think this was because they needed to divert assets away from the live game to work on a pirate's life too. The recent adventures before that also weren't the most sophisticated. Notice how Return of the Damned was a finale of an arc and a decision point. It didn't feel like a hunter's cry of the shrouded deep to me. The developers have been extremely silent lately. Nothing has been leaked or said about Season 10. With Captaincy, there were tons of leaks before the showcase. Season 7, 8 and 9 were all technically reworks of content. Complicated and big reworks, but reworks nonetheless. Actual content, things that you can go out in the world and do that's new, hasn't been added in a seasonal update since last March. Season 7 was stat tracking and quality of life. Season 8 was PvP and the Battle of the Sea of Thieves stuff. Alright, there were cool new hideouts and curse rewards, but PvP isn't new. Not to negate how big of an update it was, it reinvigorated Sea of Thieves and generated an incredible amount of hype, but it didn't add actual content. Season 9 didn't either, that was just quality of life. Again, asset relocation. The developers have been using parts of the Caribbean terms in tweets, like Mike Chapman quoted something from a book called On Stranger Tides, the title of the fourth Pirates of the Caribbean movie. In the year 2022, there were teasers about a pirate's life too, with phrases being used such as a pirate's life for us. Also in the year 2022, there was the whole vault on Port Merrick thing which we yet to hear anything about. The mystery, so far, has been lackluster, as I said. Again, asset relocation. I could go on. But you get the idea. Things are just currently amiss with Sea of Thieves. Normally, I end a video saying all this could be true, but it could also not be because all this other evidence, so I don't know. But this time, I'm going to be honest, I'm very confident that Pirate's Life 2 is going to happen. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'll be watching eagerly this Sunday at the Xbox Game Showcase 2023. And if you want to be the first to know about Season 10 on Sunday, then subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And while you're at it, why not hit the bell as you never miss a single upload. There's no doubt about it, whatever happens on Sunday, June is going to be a big month. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. I'm really interested, and if you enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel an absolute ton. Apart from all that though, thanks for watching, I'll see you later, and remember folks, six days to go.